Hey guys, it's Ashley, and here we are today at a different angle because I have something very special in mind for today's video. As you can tell by the title, today I have some bookshelf hacks for you. These are hacks to fit more books on your current shelves because if you're anything like me, that is a constant struggle. So if you're anything like me, you're always looking for more storage space for books. I am currently at just about maximum capacity, unless I get rid of my dresser and put more bookshelves in my bedroom. Then maybe I could have more room. But short of getting rid of all of my clothes, I am out of space. So I need to make the most of my current bookshelves. Now there's a couple hacks that we all know, right? If you stack the books, instead of laying them out side by side, you can fit more books. And so I had stacks next to stacks, in front of stacks, as many books as I could cram onto a shelf. That's what I did. But the problem with that is I couldn't see all of my books. It didn't look nice and I just didn't like it. I wanted to be able to see my books and be able to access them easily without taking all of my books off of my shelf to get to the ones in the back. So I've come up with two hacks that were both kind of like no duh moments for me. I really wanted to make it an even third but I couldn't come up with anything and I even tried googling and searching YouTube for bookshelf hacks and book storage hacks and found nothing. Nothing. So this is the first bookshelf hack video apparently on YouTube. Before we get into the actual tips, let me just give you two quick disclaimers. First of all, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using the term bookcase to refer to the entire unit and bookshelf to refer to the individual level in the unit. That's just for the sake of this video. In real life, I use them interchangeably, but it is going to make a difference as we talk during this video. Disclaimer number two, I'm really cheap when it comes to things that aren't travel or books. So I try to save money when I can. For that reason, most of my bookcases come from either Target or Big Lots. And that's really important because there's something you need to pay attention to for the hacks in this video. This shelf came from Target. In the past two times I've bought a shelf from Target and the two times that I bought a shelf from Big Lots, they all had something in common. The ones from Target come with holes drilled from about four inches from the top down to about four inches from this immovable shelf. The ones from Big Lots, on the other hand, they don't have as many hole options. They have holes here, and here, and then again at the bottom. They don't have them running continuously down like the Target ones do, and that's gonna come in handy for our first tip. Because bookshelf hack number one is to add another shelf to your bookcase. I know this seems super obvious, but I also know that there's at least one other person out there like me who never actually thought of this. So Ikea sells these shelves all by themselves that you can use in their units or just hang by themselves on a wall. And so I bought two of them for my kitchen, got home and realized only one would fit in my space, and literally the second one just sat around collecting dust for over a year until I realized that it was absolutely the perfect size to fit into this shelf. You can't even tell which one it is. It's down here, I know because I did it, but you literally can't even tell. It's the same color, it's maybe a sixteenth of an inch shorter than the other shelves, but really, unless you're looking closely, you're never gonna be able to tell. Now, adding an extra shelf to your bookcase can either be super easy or a little bit complicated. And I know this from personal experience because this one was super easy. This one was a bit complicated and I had to get power tools and my dad involved. So let me tell you the easy way first. The easiest way is to buy a shelf that is the exact size of your bookcase. Like I said, Ikea sells them for about $3 a piece. Just make sure you measure the inside width of your bookcase, not the entire outside. Also measure the depth. That is super important as well because again, this one is gonna cause me trouble. I just completely lucked out with this first one. It was the exact same size. The other reason this was super easy was because this is a bookcase that has holes all the way from the top to the bottom. So I didn't have to drill anything. All I had to do was find some pegs and put the shelf in. The best thing to use would be either metal or wooden pegs. If you have extras from an old bookcase, that would be the most ideal. I didn't have either. What I used were these little hard plastic electrical cover things that we just happened to have in our basement. Shoved them in the holes. They're long enough, strong enough, and I put the shelf on top. Super easy hack. This one gave me a little more trouble. First, because the holes don't run the entire length of the case. I had to measure and measure and mark and measure and mark, and then my dad drilled holes for me. You can see here we used metal pegs on this one he had laying around that fit perfectly and are basically designed for this. The shelf, however, you can't actually see here. It's down the bottom. It's the same color as this one. I got it from Ikea as well. However, the bookshelf that I intended to put it on, I measured wrong, and so it was too short for that bookcase and it was too long for this bookcase and it wasn't deep enough for my other bookcase so the easiest solution was to saw an inch off of it from one side and put it in this bookcase so it doesn't match which is why it's 
stays at the bottom so you don't see it in my videos, but I don't mind. I mean, I have extra space, so I really don't care. So that was why it was more difficult on this case because I had to saw the board, we had to drill holes. If you're in the market for a bookcase, especially if you think you might add a shelf to it, make sure that you go for one that has holes all the way down. You can usually tell by the picture on the box. That's how I knew to avoid the ones at Big Lots this time because it was horrible. It had even less holes than this one. It had like three holes. Three holes. Three holes. It was a joke. But my favorite thing about this hack is that A, it's super easy, it's cheap, and it makes my bookshelves look like they're custom built. I mean, especially this one. This is my favorite bookcase because it looks like each shelf was designed to house these books, which I mean kind of was because I measured the shelves to fit these exact books. But I just think it makes it look so pretty and I love the effect. For my next hack, we are going to move to this shelf over here that you can't see right now. And we're gonna go down a couple levels. So I will see you in just a second. So hack number two is to add a riser to your current bookshelves. I wouldn't really use this on a case where you're adding shelves because then you don't have enough height to do it. And it does work better on bookcases that are deeper towards the back. And I'm gonna show you why. So this particular bookcase, I was double parking books, which is when you have books in the back against the back and then books in the front covering the books in the back and you can't see them. And so one day I had one of those, no da, why didn't I ever think of that moments where I took a box, I put it in the back, I put books on top of it, and books in front and you get this. So let me show you what's going on behind here. So I have actually used my owl crate boxes for this, repurposing my owl crate boxes. For my particular bookcase, it just happened to be the perfect size. I literally just took the box and I stuck it on the shelf. I put some of my books on top and then I put other books in front like this. There we go. So now I'm able to see all of the books on this shelf. I'm able to come back here and grab one fairly easily. In the case of this particular shelf, two owl crate boxes fit most of the way and then I had this weird space. So I put all my odd shaped books over here. Some of my childhood books, my Seuss books, some of my Shel Silverstein poetry collections over there. It works out really well for me. I didn't cover the boxes or anything just because why. However, on this shelf I did something a little different. When I bought my new bookcase, it came packaged with some big foam blocks. They were actually double this size. I cut them in half and then I had all of the styrofoam snow everywhere. So I covered it with some fabric that I had laying around. This one I don't particularly like the fabric, so I just used this one. I didn't glue it or anything. I just used straight pins and stuck it into the foam so that it holds. The main reason I did it with the foam is because of those foam snowy pieces. So you really could do this to your shelf with just about any square object you have in your house. You could use actual bricks. You could use different size boxes. I'm pretty sure they even sell like little wire shelves like you would put in a locker or in a kitchen cabinet that you could just buy those. Again, I'm cheap. I like free or a little money, so I use what I already had on hand. This hack, like I said, works best when you have deep shelves. Basically, if you can double park your books on the shelf, you can use this technique. You can see on these two shelves, they're mostly smaller books. These are my middle grade shelves for the most part. So it's mostly smaller books, so it worked out really well. However, if we move up to the top, ready? There is room here for me to do the same thing. Probably not with the owl crate boxes because they're a little bit too wide, but because on this shelf, I can double park my books and not have them hanging off the shelf, I can absolutely use this technique. So as I run out of room, I will add small boxes to the back and do a riser technique here as well. So there you have it, my two bookshelf hacks to fit more books on your current shelves. I absolutely love them. They've kind of revolutionized my personal library because now I can fit more books on my current cases and I can keep buying books without fear of running out of space. If you decide to use some of these on your own bookshelves, please let me know. I'd love to see a picture. Tweet it to me at AspiringAshleyW or tag me on Instagram at Quests with Charlie. I would love to see your shelves. If you have other bookshelf hacks, please let me know those too because I can use all the hacks I can get. Leave them down in the comments or make your own video and leave the link in the comments so I can come watch. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great week and I will see you soon. Bye!